So today we're going to be installing the Tommy Chain Tensioner Gasket. Uh, it's pretty easy and it's straightforward, but I'll show you guys just to show you all. But uh, here's the gasket right here. It was like $6 brand new from Nissan. And uh, after I started the engine, I had a major oil leak and it was, it was kind of everywhere. So I'm thinking this is my, this is probably a good place to start because the car has been sitting for a while and I can still see oil on top of the water pump. And I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's there. But to remove the timing chain tensioner, there's only two 10 millimeter bolts that you got to take off. This one right here at the bottom and this one right here at the top. And there's actually a certain orientation that the timing chain tensioner needs to be at like in its position and I just mark it with a sharpie and an arrow that way when I take it off next time or should I have to take it off again I know exactly how to put it back on and I'm going to put this down and I'm going to take it off alright so we got the timing chain tensioner bolts off and when I do it I like to evenly take both the bolts off like I don't take one all the way off and go to the second one I kind of even it out and uh when you're taking it off, you kind of have to, when you take it off evenly, it makes it a little easier, but on the last bolt, whether it's the top or the bottom one, when you're taking it off, you kind of got to press down on this tensioner because you'll feel the spring kind of unload. It'll kind of, what, it'll push off on you. But uh, there's nothing too hard about that. So we're going to go ahead and remove the time you take tensioner. And uh, like I said, there's a certain orientation. You always want this uh, this little key that holds the tensioner in when you stick it back in down facing down when you pull it out so this is the position that it should be in all right so i've already slipped the gasket on there's nothing hard about that um i have to assume that the position of the gasket the little tab on it faces down back here it kind of fits in a little groove but i think that's how it goes on it seems to be right i'm just gonna go ahead and flip this tensioner back on and i'll show you guys how to do that Alright, so we're going to go ahead and stick the tensioner back in. You can't just stick it in the same way it came out because uh, you'll see that we will find out that it's going to be too long. So what you got to do, is, I couldn't do it while it's holding the camera, but all you got to do is uh, press this little arm in. I'll set it down for a second. You just press this little arm in right here and you want to hook this latch right here onto this little pin. I don't know what to call it. It's a. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. It takes a. You got to kind of put your purse down to do it, but it's doable. And once you've done that, then you can put the time you change the tensioner back in. So I'm gonna do that. Put this camera back in. All right. So we got the tensioner back in. Even with that arm pressed in and hooked on the latch, it's still a little hard to get in there. But it's not difficult. Uh, you just kind of gotta push on it a little bit. Uh, just use your old noodle, you'll be able to figure it out. It's not too hard about it. But uh, like I said, when I was taking it off, I try to tighten these down evenly. That way one side's not all the way down, the other side's all the way up. But uh, after that, you're all done. All right, so now we got the timing chain tensioner installed like it needs to be. Uh, there's only one, possibly two more steps that you need to go through to make sure you've installed this correctly. Uh, and I'll get to that in a second. First thing you got to do is remove your valve cover, and uh, it's pretty straightforward, but to anybody who's never done this before, all you do is take off your four coil packs, they're each 10 millimeter bolts, and then you want to go around the valve cover and take off all your, uh, your nuts and your spacer or your washer, and that gave you access to your valve cover. Uh, when you're pulling off the valve cover, you want to take off these two hoses right here, and you don't have to, but you can this one back here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so now we've got the valve cover removed, and this is what you're checking for, and this is why we took off the valve cover. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but down there where the timing chain, yeah, sorry, timing chain tensioner arm is, you can see where that little lever, or whatever you want to call it, has it released from that little pin. Uh, you want to make sure that pin is off and the timing chain tensioner is fully out like it needs to be. Otherwise, if you start it without that arm being off and it all the way out, you run the chance of uh, your timing chain jumping, uh, jumping a tooth. 
that way then that'll throw your timing off so to do that all you gotta do is take a I forget the size I'll tell you guys in a second I'm pretty sure it's like a 27 millimeter or or uh, socket and all you gotta do is turn the crank counterclockwise just a little bit until it until that arm comes off the timing tape tension bolt. And we're gonna do that and we'll be back in a sec. Alright, so I got the latch to come off of that pin. And it it's very easy to do. You just take your two, your 27 millimeter bolt, uh, put it on your ratchet. You know, you just barely have to turn the crank counterclockwise. It barely takes any strength at all. And that that latch should pop right off. And now that you've got the tension back on your chain, you can start putting everything back together. So you're all done. And that is how you install a timing chain, uh, timey chain tensioner gasket. So I hope this helped anybody that needed help with it. It's a pretty straightforward job, but if you've never done it before, it may have been a little confusing. So that's it. And hopefully that was the cause of my oil leak. If not, the next thing I'll try is the valve cover gasket because it's kind of old. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this helps somebody. And I don't know if you'll ever see this, but to Moog and Marty at Mighty Car Mods, if you've never heard of that before, look it up on YouTube. They have a really good show, a really good channel. Uh, just keep up the good work, guys. I love everything you do, and I love all your episodes. Well, until next time, I'll see you guys later.